little better. So as you can tell from this clip, I've been having issues with my E46, and in this video, we're gonna try to resolve it. What's up YouTube, this is Carl here. It's been a long time since my last video. I've been taking a break from cars, especially with situations like this. It's really hard to get motivated to work on this thing again, but summer's coming to an end, the days are getting cooler, and today I mustered up enough motivation to get working on the E46, because frankly, she needs, uh, she needs some TLC. So the car is intermittently breaking up. It almost seems like it tends to happen when I'm bouncing off limiter in second and then I pop it into third. It's almost like it's either cutting fuel or it's hitting some sort of soft limiter. Could be tuning related, uh, could also be mechanical. So, figured I'd take the opportunity to fix something on the car that I'm not really a fan of. So here's the old setup, really crappy. I'm actually genuinely surprised at how this fuel line is held up. No connectors on the wires and just had a zip tie in the gas tank that held up somehow and it looks like this actually kind of moved even with the sealant at the top that uh that is not holding up well let's do it better this time slides right through i don't know what that is but i mean for the most part uh, maybe that's the bottom of the tank. I don't know, but I'm surprised. I don't see much else on here I, I thought that more of this guy was gonna get eaten away. Not bad. I guess I'm gonna toss this back in the car Just so I don't stink up the whole garage just to be clear. I am not gonna be shaving this out I'm gonna be using this one. This is what I'm gonna be replacing my current setup with I got it on Amazon it comes from China. It comes from China much better. And if I'm not mistaken, that looks pretty close in diameter to this. Uh huh? Uh huh? This might have worked out for the better. I'm also going to be using one of these bulkhead fittings. This is a more proper way to do things because it has these two holes that you can feed your wire through. And once you tighten this, that hole gets tighter and tighter so that you have a better seal. This is what I wanted to do in the first place, but uh, the one that I wanted wasn't gonna get to me in time to finish the video, so that's kind of the sacrifice that I made. Stupid decision, but you live and you learn, right? Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's. That's, that's not going anywhere. Famous last words. Not looking forward to this part. I was gonna try to salvage this, but eh, it's not gonna work. I gotta replace this line. And this was definitely my least favorite part about my first setup was getting this guy off somehow. So now that I destroyed the stock hose, luckily I came prepared and I already had a spare one because I figured that was gonna happen anyway. It looks like it should be a good fit for this top section. I am gonna need to clamp it down for this though because yeah, that's a loosey goosey. Now even though these wires are a little bit beefier than what typically comes on a stock pump, it also looks to use the same connector. These pins right here are no bueno. so. We are not gonna need that. My lines from the other side are already cut because they're going to the relay, so this won't even matter. There's not gonna be any risk, of any spark or anything of that nature. Just clean it up a little bit. You know what? There you go. Clean it up even more. Look at that. Like a glove. Okay, so this is the setup. I drilled my hole right there for that bulkhead fitting. A little bit too close to this connector. That was my mistake, but I think I, think I could deal with it. Got my new hose, clamped down, everything's all good to go. I just need to put a connector on here and we should be good.
unfortunately it's not building pressure. The pump's definitely turning on, so that's a good sign. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought that was going to stay put, but I guess not. Also, I was concerned that this end was going to be too, too big. Or this hose is going to be too big. So I'm going to swap this out with another one. This is a 10 mil and 10 mil ID. I have an 8 mil pump side, 10 mil hanger side. That should work a little bit better. Wow, that is a tight fit, but I'm glad a lot more secure. Dare I say it? That ain't going nowhere. You're going nowhere. Not an ideal path. I was hoping for some reason that this hose would kind of loop around like OEM, but I think this is good enough. A hell of a lot better than what I had before. How about uh, we get this in the car and uh, let's give it a shot. You know, you can't start your car if your battery's not connected. Round two. It's alive! I mean, it's not like it wasn't before, but same thing. It's running. And it's better because of that fuel setup. Right. So I had to pull my fuel pump hanger assembly again because it is leaking from my bulkhead fitting. So I think it's primarily because of the area that I chose. So I got to work with what I got, which means I have to do something that I was trying to avoid. Sealant again. We're going to see how this works out this time. Pray that this fixes it. I think this is the same one that I used last time and if I remember correctly this this stuff never really dries it kind of stays wet so I kind of just torque this down I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and hopefully this works out looks good so far you can see maybe hard to tell but there's definitely fuel already at the top and I don't see any anything wet yet I'll have to keep monitoring it see what happens I'm going to try to replicate what happened at the track, which is going to be hard without doing anything illegal. Man, it's been a while since I've driven this thing on the street. <laughs> oh. Let's find out. that time I don't think I hit a limiter though on that so I don't know I'm really I'm really not sure the good news is I don't smell gasoline so far I don't see a trail of gasoline behind me so that's some good news nope it didn't do it all right so I think what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to tag the rev limit a couple times and see if I can get it to do that soft limiter thing that I experienced at the track. Assuming I can make it without overheating. What is going on? I'm getting about 96 degrees Celsius right now. Yeah, dude, something's going on with my coolant. It's like, it was reading 90 earlier. Now it's reading 82. I don't know what the heck's going on.
fucking misfire. That's great. So maybe that's what it is. Because, uh, that sounded like a couple cylinders. Shit. What is it? What is it, guys? I don't think I bumped limiter on that one, but it was running like absolute dog shit after a red line. So who knows? It's running okay now. Guys, what is it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. I can tell I mean I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary AFRs look decent other than that weird running issue where I was coming to a stop and it was basically just like driving like shit. I don't know and so the journey continues as I find out what the hell is wrong with this car I don't know at this point seems to run okay sometimes seems to run like crap other times but I don't know let me know what you think in the comment section down below. It comes with the territory, I guess, building these kinds of cars.